in a runaway Venn diagram? Let's review some information before we get started. If you recall, a prime number is a counting number that has exactly two factors, one in itself. An example is the number five. It has two factors, one and five. A composite number has more than two factors. For example, the number 15 has factors of one, three, five, and 15. Do the numbers five and 15 have any common or shared factors? You bet. Let's look at a Venn diagram to help. Remember that the factors of one number go in the left circle. In this case, one and five go into the left circle. And the factors of the other number go into the right circle. In this case, one, three, five, and 15. Common factors for these two sets are one and five. These go into the intersecting portion. Pretty easy, huh? Let's try something that requires some extra brain power. Let's try this in reverse order. I'll give you the numbers in the Venn diagram, and you determine the original numbers or titles of each circle. You know, like prime numbers less than five or multiples of six. Oh, by the way, most Venn diagrams also include the number one and the original numbers in the circles. I'm leaving them out for this exercise. Can't make it too easy. Now draw a Venn diagram like this. Remember, two overlapping circles. In the left circle are the numbers 5 and 7. The numbers in the overlapping area are 2 and 3. In the right circle are 4, 6, 8, and 12. How'd you do? Well, where do we begin? Let's go left to right with the circles. The left circle has the numbers 5 and 7. We know they are both odd and prime numbers. They are also less than the next prime number, which is 11. They could also be factors of 35, but let's keep it simple right now. Next, we can look at the overlapping or shared area that contains the numbers 2 and 3. 2 is even, and 3 is odd. But they are both prime numbers, and neither one of them is a factor of 35. So, it looks like they're all prime numbers less than 11. Now we move to the right circle. The numbers 4, 6, 8, and 12 are all even composite numbers, meaning they are not prime. But wait, 2 and 3 are shared numbers and part of the right circle. They're prime and 3 is an odd number. This probably means we're looking at factors of a composite number. Let's multiply the smallest and largest numbers of the right circle. 2 times 12 is 24. Can any of the other numbers be multiplied to form 24? How about 3 times 4? Well, that's 12, but not 24. But 3 times 8 will give us 24. That leaves 4 times 6. Guess what? That gives us another 24. So far, all the numbers in the right circle and the shared intersection are all factors of 24. And all the numbers in the left circle and the shared intersection are prime numbers less than 11. Those are the correct answers. See you next time. Uh-oh. Ha! I'm ready. Oh, come on now.